Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God on this June the 15th, 2023. And let me tell you something, it is hot in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> It really is. I think at nine o'clock this morning, my phone read 81 degrees. Ooh, it is hot. But nevertheless, we are grateful for the time and opportunity that we get to come and share with you in the Word of God. And so I want to share something with you uh, as I have been uh, recently just reading and Feeding my spirit, man. I think that's so important that we do make sure that you are feeding your spirit, man, uh, outside of ministering. Uh, feed your spirit, man, uh, because if you're empty, what are we actually pouring out? And so it's so important to take time to replenish, to get rejuvenated, to become restored. Uh, as you are pouring out and ministering and teaching and mentoring others, make sure that you take the time to pour back into you. And so studying the book of Luke, coming across such a great and awesome word, I want to share that with you on today. As I am in the fifth chapter of Luke, and uh, probably, well, I know I've read this particular scripture several times, but it is at this point that it has become highlighted for me. And so I want to share with you on today this one line, and it's over in the 17th chapter, Luke 5:17. Uh, it says, and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. Now, here's where I want to get to. It says, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about coming with faith. That's right. Coming with faith. Are you coming with faith um, as when you come? We should definitely make sure that uh, we uh, are believing when we do come, that uh, we believe that God is. We talked about this on yesterday, if it matters to you. Uh, if we're really going to believe God, if we're going to uh, adhere to the word of God, accept what he says, then we must believe him that he is, first of all, he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Not only that, without faith, and it's in the same scripture text of Hebrews 11 and 6, without faith, it is impossible to please him. That's right. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And we want to please God in everything that we do. And so when you're coming to him for anything, uh, come in faith. Don't come wavering. Uh, come believing, come trusting uh, that he is capable of doing what he said he would do. And so I began to pray on last night and all through the night as I was looking at this particular scripture and praying for different ones uh, that the power of the Lord is present to do what it is you need him to do. And so I began to just call out for different ones uh, that I know that are in need of healing uh, different ones uh, that I know are in need of deliverance, uh, that are in need of a breakthrough. So I begin to pray for the attributes, the characteristics of God to be present for whatever it is that you need. And that is what I'm praying on today. I'm praying that 
whatever you need, uh, that God will provide whatever it is that you need, uh, that his presence is there. And it's, it's in that that we should get a, a clear understanding. It is the anointing that destroys the yoke. And so, yes, God looks for willing vessels. He looks for individuals who will submit themselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto him, which is our reasonable service. It's our reasonable service. And so when you come, you come with faith. It is our prayer. And so that's that. That's my prayer today. I'm coming with faith. I want you to come with faith with faith as well that the presence of the Lord, the power. So let me read that again. It is. It says, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And I am praying that the power of the Lord, the power of His healing the power of his deliverance, the power of his keeping power, the power to sustain you, uh, the power of the Lord is present to give you what you need. And so in that, sometimes we can know specifically what a person is facing. We can know uh, what ailments that they are going through in the body. To be honest with you, we fully don't know what's going on in the body, but God does. And so we can pray the prayer of faith that, God, you know what's going on in the individual body. I might know of some things, but God, you know all things. And so uh, as I laid down last night and even getting up through the night, I just begin to pray that the power of the Lord be present to heal. And so we're praying about healing today, no matter what it may be, uh, in the body, in the mind, in uh, the emotions, the mental capacity, the spiritual capacity. It is my sincere prayer today that the power of the Lord is present and that he will meet you where you are. He knows what we need. He knows all about it. As a matter of fact, that he knows about it before we even experience the symptoms. Isn't that something? But he said to us in scripture, he gave us a promise. He said, call unto me in the day of trouble and I will answer thee. That's right. Call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer thee. And so we come with faith. We are coming in faith. We're praying that you come to the Father in faith as well. And let me give you some scripture text uh, where we are encouraged to come in faith. We read the scripture quite a bit, and I just want to make sure that it is refreshing your spirit. Write it down. Begin to quote the word of God out of your mouth. Uh, meditate on the word in your heart. Get it in your heart. Begin to speak it out of your mouth out loud. Begin to let this prayer uh, be spoken out loud. Be begin to allow it to become a part of your daily life. I'm trusting and believing right now that the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you to some specific prayers for you, some specific scripture texts for you. See, these are the scripture texts he gave me. I'm just sharing them with you. And I believe with everything that's within me by faith that he will meet my request. And I am asking right now in the name of Jesus, I'm asking of the Father that he will begin to release unto you scriptures uh, that is going to help you in your right now season. That everything that you need, God will provide. And I am praying right now for your faith that when you come and you submit yourself as a living sacrifice and, and you submit yourself to do the will of God and you believe by faith that you come in faith and that his presence, the power of the Lord is present to heal you. 
one of the scripture texts that I want to share with you today, we shared this on yesterday, over in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, the 6th verse, it says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And so come in faith. When you come asking anything of the Father in the name of Jesus, we must come in faith. The scripture goes on to say, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We must believe that by faith. We cannot waver in our faith. I'm going to look up another scripture text to share with you on today. And as we're looking for that scripture text, I just I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Balance of Life with Angel Ferguson. With our YouTube channel, you can tune into our radio broadcast as well as our television broadcast Monday through Friday. Amen. To God be the glory. We magnify the Lord. Let's take a look over at John, the 14th chapter, beginning at the 12th verse. This is a promise of miracles. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. To God be the glory. If you're just tuning in, you're tuning in to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson, and I thank you for joining us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is June the 15th, 2023. And let me say, I know that Sunday is a day that we uh, recognize Fathers as Father's Day, but uh, every day is Father's Day. Every day is Mother's Day. We should love one another every single day. Appreciate your parents, both naturally and spiritually. And uh, if your parents are uh, still with you, uh, living, then appreciate them, love them. Don't just wait for that day. <laughs> And uh, if they have passed on, if they have deceased, then you know what? Remember them, uh, the life that and the things that they did teach you. So always honor your parents. Today we're talking about come with faith. And I'm sharing with you just scripture text that really has been uh, in my spirit all night long. And I've just been praying for individuals that I know of and, and those that I don't know. Uh, praying for you, our listening audience, that the power of the Lord be present to heal you. And God knows in what areas we need to be healed in. Uh, many are suffering mentally. Many are suffering emotionally, physically, uh, spiritually. Uh, different ailments going on in the body. Your finances, yes, the enemy attacks your finances. He will attack your ministry, your business, your household. He will attack your children. He will attack you. And and so, but we are reminded that scripture tells us uh, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them from them all. And so if you are one and you are following after righteousness, then you will be delivered. God will deliver you. And our prayer extends to those, to those who do not know our Lord and Savior. Uh, personally, I pray for you uh, that in the day that you hear his voice, in the day that you hear that prompting, that, that if you feel that, that drawing uh, to call upon the Lord and uh, ask him to be your Lord and Savior, you believe in your heart, you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that God raised him from the dead, that resurrection power, amen, that you believe that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm praying for you today as well. I'm praying 
right now that no matter what may be going on in the body, if it's cancer, AIDS, uh, different kinds of cancers, there's so many different kinds of cancers, uh, different kinds of headaches, uh, there is a headache from concussion, there's migraine headache, there's the hormone headache, there's the, uh, the regular just fatigue headache. We did a series, I want to say about two years ago, on the different types of headaches that they are, but I believe right now, in the name of Jesus, if you are suffering in those areas, and there are so many other areas, I pray right now, according to the word of God, that the power of the Lord be present to heal you, and listen, oh God, this is so good, something else that fell into my spirit as I was thinking about this scripture text those who have submitted themselves and you have been given the gift of healing I pray right now I connect my faith with yours that as you are being led and guided to lay your hand upon the sick that they will recover that the presence of the Lord the power of the Lord the anointing will flow through you will work through you sometimes he won't even lead you to lay hands on the individual Sometimes he will lead you to speak a word of healing to, to, to a person or towards a place. Oh, healing of the waters and healing of the land, my God. I pray right now that if, as you are following the guidance of the Holy Spirit, to speak a word of healing, to lay hands on the blind, spiritual blind, and even those in the natural, that they will receive their sight, that they will recover. Oh, God, that as you are ministering a word to the broken heart, oh, that the power of the Holy Spirit will bring about healing through you, those who have become willing vessels for the kingdom of heaven. My God, I just thank the Lord our God. He is worthy to be praised. That is truly our prayer today as we come in faith. And this is how we're all supposed to come to the Father. We're supposed to come in faith, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations. That is our prayer for you on today. I, and just as the Holy Spirit is leading and guiding me, I'm continuing to Pray all throughout the day. Every time the scripture hits my spirit, I utter a prayer and I'm saying, Lord, let the power of your presence be there to heal them. Oh, he said, I sent my word to heal your disease. That's right. That is also in scripture text. That's also, that's over in the Old Testament. Let's take a look at that. I sent my word. My God, that is so good. While we're looking up that scripture, I want to uh, encourage you, if you have not subscribed to our free digital copies of Hope and Truth magazine, you can still do so. It is absolutely no charge whatsoever for all digital copies of Hope and Truth magazine. You can view digital copies of Hope and Truth magazine via our website, our website is angelferguson-ministries.com. Once again, angelferguson-ministries.com. We can send all digital copies directly to your email address. Simply make your request known by emailing us today at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Now, over in Psalms 107 and the 20th verse it says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions do you not know that we can pray that we believe by faith we believe the word of god that as i begin to pray the word of faith of healing that it can reach whom it is meant to reach and i don't have to be there presently no because it says right here, he sent his word mm -hmm, and healed them. It is the word of faith that we dispatch today. 
that we are praying for healing in the body. Those who are having uh, issues with their eyes. I begin to pray for those. I know a few individuals are having issues with their eyes. Uh, and, and I'm just praying that uh, God will heal you and restore you spiritually and naturally. Uh, those who are, are battling acid reflux. Listen, I uh, actually, as I was praying last night for someone else who was dealing with it, it seems like it wanted to wake me up and attack me. But I believe by faith that uh, I am healed and so is the individual. Uh, you know, we are instructed to pray ye one for another that ye may be healed. And so the reason why we're talking about uh, the presence, the power of the Lord being present to heal is because there is a life and death in the power of your tongue. That's right. There is life and death in the power of your tongue. And as you begin to pray for others, you might be going through some things, but I tell you that if you take that thing that you're going through and say, Lord, I don't know the person. Somebody else is experiencing the same thing. And begin to call out those symptoms that you're going through. Begin to pray for somebody else. Lord, somebody's being awakened in the middle of the night with heartburn and a throat burning for acid reflux. I don't know who they are, God. I don't know where they are. But I believe, Lord God, in the healing power of our Father which is in heaven. I believe that you can send your word. The word is already sent. The word is already dispatched for healing. Also, not just for healing, if if, if you want to apply uh, one of the seven spirits of Christ, understanding, you know, that someone needs clarity and understanding, you can pray that prayer for them as well. Pray that the power of the Lord is present to give them clear understanding. You know, that's what the Holy Spirit does. Somebody might need a revelation guided in truth need some directions, need some godly counsel, you can pray the prayer that that is what they receive. And once again, you don't have to know the individual. No, you don't. You don't need to know them. God knows them. And so we are learning more and more each and every day to come out of the four walls of our own prayer circle and begin to pray for people. There were so many people upon the earth and listen, people are going to come after us. But while you were here, begin to pray. Don't just pray for people you know. Our president needs prayer. Those who are talking about running for president, who want to govern this country, much prayer, much prayer. So federal, state, and local government, we need to pray. We need to pray for those who are in the classrooms, teaching our children who are in the child care uh, business, who are watching over our babies and our toddlers. We need to pray over the people who are working in restaurants and preparing our food. Listen, we should always pray and not faint. Always pray. I mean, do you not know that prayer is one of your weapons? Mm -hmm. Prayer is one of your spiritual weapons because prayer is how we commune with God. Prayer. When we release and pray, He returns an answer. He gives us instructions. When we tell Him, God, I don't know what to do, but I believe by faith that you will give me some instructions. I don't understand this and I need some clarity. Oh God, I know that it looks like the odds are against me, but you said that if I love you, all things will turn around from a good for those who are called according to his purpose. Yes. So quote the word of God. Come with faith. Come with faith, quoting the word of God, not your opinion, not what you heard somebody else say. Open up the word of God for yourself 
And for someone who might say, well, man wrote that. Listen, scripture tells us all scripture was written by the inspiration of God. All scripture. We come in faith. I would prefer to be wrong by believing in God than not believe in him and wind up in eternal damnation. So make your choice today. Whose report will you believe? Whose report will you believe? A God that says, I love you from the beginning. I love you from afar. A God that says, I know the thoughts and plans that I have towards you to give you a good and expected end to cause you good and not harm. A God that loves you so much that he gave something so precious. His only begotten son came down to the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Was crucified. He died. He was buried. He arose again on the third day. He ascended back into heaven sitteth on the right hand of the Father from whence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead and nobody took his life because remember in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was with God and the word came down in likeness of flesh so the word gave up his life no one took it he gave it So come in faith. Come in faith. Speak the word. Psalms 107 20 says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. He did it by the word that was spoken out of the mouth of individuals. You are one that God will use as an instrument to sound the alarm of peace, of deliverance, of healing, of rejuvenation, reconciliation. You are one that God will uh, use you to lay hands, to recover, to cast out demonic spirits, to open the blinded eyes. When his presence is there, though, and his presence is the Holy Spirit. So whenever we pray, pray that his presence is there. Mm -hmm. Before we pray, we must repent ourselves. We must be in a place and a posture of submission to allow him to work through us. Allow him to lead us and guide us in prayer. Father, I don't know what to pray for. Holy Spirit, lead and guide me. I don't know about the situation. I know what I see with my eyes. I know what I might hear in the natural, but God knows beyond that. And if you would lead and guide me in prayer, I will pray according to the will of God. Speak what you hear the Holy Spirit tell you to speak. Pray as the Holy Spirit tells you to pray. That is praying in the, so that the power of the Lord is present to do what he needs to do in the lives of those individuals. I pray for your faith today. Come in faith. Come believing that as you are praying for individuals, or as you are interceding for individuals, yes, God's will shall be done. They will be healed. They will be delivered and set free. Oh, you're doing a good work for the Lord. Your prayer is needed today. Prayer and sincerity of the heart. First, go into consecration for yourself. Asking him to search your heart and your thoughts. And to reveal and remove those things that are not pleasing unto him. So that when you pray... You have clean hands and a pure heart. No hidden agenda. Let God reward you. And if he doesn't tell you to uh, release what you prayed publicly, listen, that's between you and God. 
that's that's not for everybody else. And so uh, let's get back to some quiet time, of just getting in the presence of the Lord and hearing what he has to say. But I thank you for your time today. Take a look at that scripture text, Luke 5, 17. Have a blessed day, everyone.